94 and she looks great. And today has <laughs> been a great day to get outside too, right? Yeah, we've had lots of sunshine. It hasn't been as hot as it could be right. for the month of June. And so we're enjoying some nicer conditions, but things are going to start to change. You'll feel a little bit of a difference tomorrow, a little more humid, but still be looking at some nice weather like what we see behind me here. Temperature started out this morning. Not too bad, especially if you were in Hammond. The cool spot 63 degrees started out at 68 for much of the South Shore and then 78 closer toward the lake. That's you know what happens when you live right near Lake Pontchartrain. You do get that warmer wind that keeps temperatures a little bit higher. And then as we go into the morning on Sunday, temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer. Some upper 60s up toward Bogalusa and Hammond, but generally we're going to start to see more 70s showing up as moisture starts to return to the area. We're already kind of seeing that today because we've had a little bit more cloud cover, but also notice some rainfall that continues to move toward the west. And as we see those thunderstorms continuing over toward parts of Hancock and Pearl River counties, we're going to get in on some of that rain as it continues to march west. And if it holds together, parts of St. Tammany and Washington Parish may see some rainfall this evening, but that will continue to fall apart over the next several hours. As we look at the wider view, you see a little bit more cloud cover trying to move in tonight. And that's signifying that moisture again beginning to increase. Overnight, we'll see a mostly clear sky, some passing clouds as temperatures again will start out in the 70s for most locations and then going into the day tomorrow, we could see a few more scattered showers for some areas in southeast Louisiana. So if you're going to be out and about, just be aware that you do have that potential for an isolated thunderstorm. Most areas, though, I think will stay dry throughout much of the day and you're going to have the heat with highs into the low 90s and the humidity may make it feel like the middle 90s. But going into early next week, we're going to see an area of low pressure kind of hang out across Alabama and Georgia, and that's going to reinforce a northerly wind that's going to help to keep those drier, less humid conditions around at least for the next several days into the middle part of the week. We can see that here less humid today, a little more humid Sunday and then Monday, and then another little batch of drier air moves in to kind of tip us back toward the dry scale on Wednesday. Then as we head through the rest of the week, we get much more humid as that moisture returns. So enjoy this nicer kind of feel while we have it. Again, some clouds with some sunshine today, 90 degrees over at the Kenner Airport. Winds have been breezy at times out of the east southeast at 11 miles per hour as areas remain in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Winds continue out of the east southeast for most locations and starting to shift up toward the north shore as well. Again, 5 to around 12 miles per hour. If you're heading out this evening, though, still going to feel kind of nice, though. Temperatures will be dropping into the upper 70s by 11 o'clock. Partly cloudy to mostly clear overnight. May see a 68 or 69 degree on the North Shore. Some passing clouds tomorrow with an isolated shower. But other than that rain chance tomorrow, not looking at much in the way of rain through the week. Lots of sunshine and warming up even more heading toward the end of next week.